Happy Black History Month. You know, we have a lot to be thankful for for Black History Month. This is not one of them. Fat Beach, a 1996 movie, and oh my gosh, you can tell it's 1996. Yes. The music, the clothing. The they, references. How they act. There's yeah. references to Coolio, Biggie, oh, rest in peace, Coolio, Biggie Smalls. I, I don't list, I never listen to his music. Um, there's references to Jim Carrey as Ace Ventura. Um, the big boom box that they oh, carried with yeah, them. The, well, it wasn't as big as the Say Anything boom box, but it was still, uh, it was still pretty good size. And take to the beach. You know what? This movie, this movie is called Fat Beach, but you know what it should have been called? Dream Beach. Because... <laughs> if you were to drink, if you were to drink uh, water or, what do you drink? Um, water. Egg beaters and mayonnaise. If oh you were God. to do sh <laughs> No, 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 no. Okay, fine. What you really like to drink, vinegar and white vinegar if you were to do a drinking game with that every time there was a dream sequence um <laughs> your ears would be bleeding vinegar halfway through the movie this has more this has more dream sequences than batman v superman and the first five nightmare on elm streets combined really yeah okay Do you, you but know it was what? mostly Benny. Benny. I thought it was Benny for Benjamin. No, but he was nicknamed Benny. Oh. And the other guy, we thought it was, uh, it was like that Matt TV sketch. You don't, you'd never saw this one, but it was a Matt TV sketch where it was pronounced Daryl, but they pronounce it Darrell. That's what we, that's what I, that's what. That's what we thought, or I thought. Then I looked him up on Wikipedia, or IMDb. His name is pronounced Durrell. D-U-R. R-E-L. L, or whatever. So, okay. Durrell, Durrell, do da do do da This is a poor man's kid and play without the party wannabe movie. Oh, man. If this movie was made nowadays, it would star James Franco and Seth Rogen. Oh, God. Uh, Seth, James Franco would be the Binny role, and Seth Rogen would be the Dural role. Hmm. Well, with one minor exception. It was not very exception. entertaining. It was not. Well, just, well... Were they just graduated from high school? I guess. No, th they had to be older because they were drinking beer. Were they drinking beer? Weren't they? I don't think so. So every time they went out to the, the bar or whatever, it was just soda? I, I thought he had a beer at the end, Binny. Well, Benny. I know that he... I thought they said they wanted to go to college to... Benny wanted to do uh, writing. Right. Instead of working for the summer, he wanted to go to this class that only 10 students got picked to attend. This is the second move. This is the second move. This is the second movie in a row that we'll review. This is the second movie this year that involves someone wanting to go to a camp but then the other person is like no you can't Space and Jam. yeah it's the father this this is the second time this has happened and you want to play six degrees of movies <laughs> where is this movie set california on the beach with a lot of people. Well, they had to drive yeah. quite a few hours to get to the beach, so with, I don't exactly know where they are. With a lot of people, with a lot of people in thongs and swimsuits. Our last movie, The Birdcage, mm. also had people in thongs and swimsuits as well. How was 
was this part of a series? I don't know. You picked them. I picked Birdcage. You picked Fat Beach. Well, oh, I, and did you tell them how Fat was spelled? P-H-A-T. They, they can yeah. tell by either one. Oh, got it. Got it. And, um... Well, you you kind of picked this movie because I I picked a I picked a number of films. It was either this or another film that we're not going to review this year because Netflix came to the rescue with the other film I had planned this year. <laughs> so basically, Benny is the kind sweetheart um virgin and Dural is um womanizer with a libido that would put a that would put an 18 year old to shame he was probably 18 he he bangs anything and sometimes everything That was female. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, you can't sit. You've got to be a little more descriptive. <laughs> so anyway, uh, they're trying to... They're trying... Dural is trying to make a lot of money by selling sunglasses that they bought for like 50 cents and selling them for $5. Um, yeah, he seemed to never have money... Or, but the other or one, that can contribute Benny, money. Benny had like $300. But he didn't take all 300 out. Yeah. He did? No, he didn't. I'm agreeing with you. Yeah. Oh, and uh, Dural pretty much gets pretty much gets um, Benny fired. And, I would like... A, and uh, you didn't talk about at, the car. Cut. Cut what? No, at the drive-thru, remember? Oh. And it's like... I can't understand you. you. I want I oh yeah, I yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, we, maybe we should do that. No. That'll Not be the really. new that'll be the new YouTube TikTok challenge. Oh no. Um. Don't so. Don't need any more challenges. They have too. They have too many. Yeah, they have too many challenges. Uh. <clears throat> So anyway, they steal the dad's car, which made me think this is like a black and cheaper version of Ferris Bueller's Day, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Hmm? Mm -hmm. However, if this entire movie was taking place in a dream, that would be one... That, it must have been taking place in Durrell's dream, maybe. Mm -mm. I can't imagine Benny wanting any of this to happen. Excuse me. So anyway, he wanted his first time to be true love and yeah. have meaning and whatever. So he falls in love with a stripper and that goes nowhere. Who does? Benny. Well, you were. Oh, let it me. Wasn't a stripper. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, she kept. She kept. Um, she was at the strip club and she stripped and danced she for kept him. Dancing. Eight dances, two hundred and ten dollars. Yeah, he didn't know. I. Are they that much? Probably a lot more. That's a that's a lot of uh, boner bucks. Um. I heard I heard oh. that on. I, I heard that on a podcast where um. If you don't have change, you or if you don't have singles, you can like swipe your credit card, and they'll give you like Monopoly money for strip clubs. That's from what I heard on a podcast. I don't know. <clears throat> I'd rather not know. So anyway, uh, there's oh we for we forgot to mention the the two most important characters in this movie. The two foreign the ideas. foreign exchange checks. That there, speak you've English. just un there. We've just told you everything you need to know about them because that's literal. We've spent more time right now describing them than their dialogue and screen time in the movie. Right. So, 
he gives one of the glasses to another sign you can tell this was made in the early 90s. Hat celebrity Kenny Rogers. Oh, God. <laughs> Was he even a celebrity in 1996? Probably. Okay. Or was this 96? Maybe this was 94 or 90, 97, maybe? I don't know. But it's like... We saw that Oh, TV. yeah, him. Oh, yeah, Kenny... Rest in peace, Kenny Rogers. Um, Man, this movie's a curse to a lot of people. Biggie Smalls, Coolio, Kenny Rogers... Jim Carrey, watch yourself. <laughs> so anyway, uh, there's a bet about who can, with Durrell, about who can bang a chick and, with some other guy. And then there's this, is there, the there's this white foreigner out. or something. Was he a foreigner? It was he like a Sephardian man. No, he wasn't a foreigner. I thought he was. Okay. He was just a... <laughs> Immature dude. Yeah, I can't wait for the spinoff, him and Durrell's Adventures in Space. Mm. Sorry. The movie kind of bored me. And we saw it yesterday. We saw it we saw it over twenty four hours ago and she's been sleeping since then and she's still tired. Um so anyway, then we so Benny falls in love with this girl who kind of looks like if Hee Haw and In Living Color had a crossover, she would be like one of the girls. She was like a very... Very voluptuous, I... chested girl. Can I... Was she... Like Zoe Sald like Zoe Kravitz? No, I don't think she was. Oh, okay. I think um, she was maybe like Italian heritage or something. Okay, she was Italian. She was Italian then, or okay. Well, hey, good. I love colored skin. Kudos to this movie for having an interracial couple and not bringing and not mentioning it. Progress. Uh, we find Ooh, out. God. We find out Benny is good at volleyball. Oh my God! Yeah. Which is about all this movie has to a real plot because literally the first eighty, literally eighty percent of this movie is just filler. Pretty much everything at the beach is just filler. Everything at the beach, everything at the strip club, everything at the hotel room. Well, and I'm glad that other girl that was hanging out with who Binny thought was the one and that other girl. Um, Did they even give her a name? Yeah, I think. Arlene, okay. Arlene or something. I forget now. You think I can, You think I remember? Yeah. But they, they tried to make... I don't even make, remember who the main character... I don't even remember... They tried remember. to make her look very homely compared to the other two women. I don't even know who the other two characters... I don't even know who Dural is played by, and he has, like, 50 movie and TV credits. I don't know. And maybe commercials. I don't know. Uh, meanwhile, there's a subplot with the dad who goes on a road trip and... <laughs> He's supposed to be going to the beach. You could pretty much go guess. along the coastline up California. Or no, they're going south, I think, because they end up in Arizona. Well, they were going to go along the coastline, and she told him he needed a map. The coastline of Arizona, of California. He never got to the coastline until his car was being towed away. Okay. So. We knew sooner or later they were going to end up at the same hotel his parents would. I was like, okay, that's and then something, his, I guess. His father finally showed him a little respect. So, you can go to that, that writing class. Your mother's going to pay for it. What? <laughs> so, I'm going to say something I think we can both agree. This is the best movie you're probably going to see this year, and we should definitely buy it on 4K Blu-ray. <laughs> no. No, God, no. Oh, yeah. But 
here's the ultimate challenge that I have for you, Kay. And I've asked you this before. What was better, this or Black Spring Break the movie? Oh, God. At least we could understand the speaking in this. Black but, Spring Break, we had to put on... Subtitles. Subtitles. But... That but, was... They, they were college. This guy is, like, pre-college. But... But... Black Spring Break had more of a plot. Hmm. Well, I think Durrell thought that he was their God's gift to women that he could have anybody in just one night stands or whatever and um well at the same time treating his friend like crud yeah right? yeah he took advantage of him and the car and everything so so uh no i don't want it do you recommend people see this movie <laughs> God, if it's the last thing on TV <laughs> that you haven't seen... Then oh. then take a nap and something else will premiere. Yeah. Uh, watch... Oh, hey. If you've seen everything else on TV and everything else that's ever been made... Um, Go to Tubi. Rewatch up. Watch a movie called Up the Creek. It's a little bit funnier. It's Revenge of the Nerds meets Race for Your Life, Charlie Brown. Oh, boy. We saw that movie just for fun. Yep. Hey, it was better than this. Yeah. Anyway, um, tune in next time when... I don't know what is next. We have a couple more in in. We have February. three more. Yeah. Our next movie, well... Three more. We've only seen one so far. Yeah, yeah, this one. Sorry, it's first week of February. So, so well, you can't spell Black History Month without four words. Jamie, f five words. Jamie Fox, er, Marlon Wayans. I thought you were going to say Tyler Perry. 